Welcome! I was super glad that the first volume of this video series received such great feedback, as this was a video series I felt really passionate about, and of course with such great feedback from the first volume, there's gotta be a second one. Now my original plan for each volume of this series was to talk about four different series per volume. However, the anime slash manga I'm talking about today is one that means a lot to me personally. And when I was originally writing the script for this volume, I wound up writing so much about this particular series, so in order to not overshadow the other series I would talk about if this was a full proper volume, I decided to dedicate this volume to a series that means a lot to me. And this said series that means a lot to me is none other than One Piece. To put it simply, if it wasn't for One Piece, I don't even think I'd still be into anime and manga. In the first volume of this video series, I talked about how Dragon Ball was my first proper taste of anime. However, after finishing up Dragon Ball, my journey with anime kind of slowed down. After the original, I did go on to Dragon Ball Z, but I kind of fell off after the Frieza arc, just due to me not liking how much Z changed from the original Dragon Ball that I love so much. Don't worry, many years later I would go back to finish it up. But after that, anime didn't really cross my mind too much, as around that time my family made the big move from America to Dubai, so my mind was really just preoccupied with a new school and overall adjusting to the change. However, after a few months I decided to go back to anime, but I wasn't really sure what other series were out there, since my knowledge on the medium was pretty small. So of course I decided to research online, and after coming across a forum for anime newbies, I discovered the legendary anime trio, the big three, being One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach. Funnily enough, when looking at these three, I initially didn't even want to touch One Piece since it looked a little too goofy. Being a wannabe edgy teenager, Bleach looked right up my alley, but eventually over time I lost interest in it, and the same thing happened with Naruto, so I wasn't having that much high hopes for One Piece. But then I finished the first episode, and man, did, did things change. Everything I had come to love outside the martial arts action from the original Dragon Ball series was in One Piece, a giant wacky world full of possibilities, with a great sense of adventure and humor. Then we had all these crazy unique abilities and a large cast of lovable and quirky characters. However, One Piece greatly expanded on all these elements. The world was just so full of personality and richly detailed. I actually think I got my love for good world building in series from One Piece, which still to this day I feel is probably the best at it. You can tell series creator Ichiro Oda really put in his all into developing this fantastic world full of pirates and adventure. Matching the sheer length of the series, the world of One Piece is huge with so many diverse locations and cultures to explore throughout the series. Every island the Straw Hat crew visits is just so uniquely different from the last giving each arc its own distinct flavor. Various elements or characters reoccur or just foreshadowed throughout the series which, given this series' length, is pretty impressive, and also all the more rewarding for sticking with this series, as some smaller events and minor characters and early story arcs could mean something a whole lot bigger later on. Then of course, to match this is the large and ever-growing cast of characters, constantly increasing by the story arc, which in my personal opinion I feel has gone a little too bloated recently. But really, the true stars of One Piece are the Straw Hat Pirates, a group of super lovable and quirky characters overcoming their tragic past to pursue their dreams through adventuring around an insane world, growing closer and closer to each other with each island they pass. Watching One Piece was a near magical experience for me back in the day. Despite having watched very little anime at the time, after the thrilling conclusion of the Alabasta arc, I knew One Piece was going to become one of my all-time favorite series. Eventually I caught up to the One Piece anime, which at the time was around the end of the Marine Ford arc, which at that point, One Piece escalated from being just one of my favorite anime series to just one of my favorite things ever. As cheesy as it may sound, over time I felt like I was part of the Straw Hat crew, but really after spending so much time laughing, crying, getting hyped with, and just learning about these wonderful characters, who wouldn't? I honestly don't think I've ever been so infatuated with a piece of media as much as I was with One Piece as an early teen. Not only was One Piece just one of my favorite things ever that I constantly was thinking about 24-7 at the time, but thanks to One Piece I managed to grow a lot as an anime fan. 
During my early days as an anime fan, I kind of had to figure everything out myself since I didn't have that many friends I could talk to about anime. And like I mentioned in the first volume of the series, I got into anime through a really weird and unorthodox way, so I kind of messed out on the whole Toonami boom. I mean, at the time, my main method of even just watching anime was through YouTube. But since YouTube didn't really have all the One Piece episodes, I, uh, <clears throat> discovered some sites online. Which also featured a plethora of anime, leading me to make a big watch list. One Piece was also the first anime series I ever watched subbed, due to the Funimation dub at the time being pretty far behind. Which also led me to checking out a lot of other series, since back then I used to be a strictly dub person. But another thing with One Piece that really occurred to me as of writing the script for this video, is that I've been following this series for a long time. Unlike the many other series I checked out during my early years as an anime fan, most of which either eventually ended or I just lost interest in, One Piece is still ongoing and I'm still happily following along. So much has happened to me personally while following the series, as not only have I developed as an anime and manga fan, but I've moved houses, changed schools, started a YouTube channel, started and graduated high school, became an adult, did both my undergraduate and postgraduate studies in universities, went through heartbreaks, moved back to America, got my first job, and now currently going through a worldwide pandemic. And I experienced all this while still following this amazing adventure. And honestly, there's no other series out there that I can say I've truly grown alongside with as much as I have with One Piece. And that's a major reason why this series will always have a super special place in my heart. Not only do I have countless emotions and memories connected through going through One Piece itself, but also memories and emotions that are connected to One Piece, but not necessarily tied to the content of the series but rather things that happened in my personal life that One Piece was just there for. There was my early high school days where I just had a raw, passionate love for One Piece. Also, around the time I started getting into One Piece, I was homeschooled for a bit, and at least for a good year, I didn't have that many friends, so for a while, the Straw Hats were kind of the closest I got. And then there's the second and last house my family and I moved to in Dubai, which already was filled with great memories. I mean, in that house, that's where I started this channel in the first place. However, every time I reflect on that house, despite the eight or so years I lived there, the first memory that always pops into my mind is when I saw One Piece Strong World in it. I guess this memory is pretty strong in my head since it was the first thing I ever watched in that house. And I watched that movie when I was probably at the peak of my One Piece craze. But really now the thought of that movie and that house are just kind of woven together for me. And of course there's all the times I spent talking about One Piece with my university friends. Who were probably the best group of friends I ever made. And I'm not just saying that because they're most likely watching this video. I shared plenty of wonderful moments with them, and I had a very short-lived podcast with a few of them. While a good majority of my university friends were into anime and manga, there weren't that many series we could all talk about that we were all on the same page on. But One Piece was that special series. A lot of them actually started getting into One Piece recently, so I was actually able to see their own personal journeys and reactions to the series while reliving some of my own. Which is just really cool, and honestly, I could keep him going on and on with these kind of examples, but One Piece is just that special to me. Well, these days my love for the series isn't quite what it used to be, I still really do love and appreciate the series. Since no matter what, no other series out there can ever come close to the raw passionate love I had for One Piece when I was first getting into it. There's plenty of other anime and manga series I cannot wait to talk about in this video series, but few of them have as much of a deep connection to me as One Piece does. But with that, it's time to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I am Mr. Falcon Punch. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.